Hey, ke, hey, ke, hey, ke. hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up a head pad, uh, head pad redeem for your water dose setup thanks to Feline's Node. So, um, it should be very simple. I'll be showing you just how to overall set it up and then even how to get it set up with a YouTube command or even a Twitch command, you know, for something really quick, basically. Like a channel point redeem where you get head padded and such, you know? Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Discover tab right here. You're going to type in head pad in the search bar. And then you'll be able to find Feline's head pad node right here. Make sure that you go ahead and click on it and make sure that you are subscribed to it. It is free. You can also give Feline a like to show support and tell them that they need to make more of this stuff. But there's that. You can even view the picture right here. It shows you like some example, an example of how the node looks like, some uh, settings here, which we'll go over. We'll go over the setup though, don't worry. But it's something very quick and cute. Um, but overall though, pretty much once you subscribe to this, all we have to do is we have to go to our blueprints. Um, now you can add this to your pre-existing blueprint or you can add a new one. Basically, you're going to type in head tap and you're gonna go over here. Then you're gonna go ahead and select the prop source. Now, if you have your own uh, custom prop that you want to put, uh, like you use the Wadido SDK, you made your own prop and such like that, then by all means, you could definitely utilize the your own uh, Wadido prop. But otherwise, if you don't have one, you can definitely utilize the default ones here. So for my case, uh, let's say I don't have it. So I'm gonna use these cute little uh, paws here, the cute little gloves, and I'm gonna use that as a temporary one. Uh, unless you prefer these because they're really adorable. But otherwise though, as a temporary one, you can use this. Otherwise, if you have your own, you can use that. Then what we have to do uh, that we set this up, what we're going to need to do is we need to set up an anchor because where's the head pack going to go? So let's go ahead and make an anchor. So you're going to go to the assets panel here, click on plus. Then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you find anchor, which anchor should be right about here. Miscellaneous anchor. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the transform attachment is set to your character's head. So click here, click on character, and by default it should be to your head basically. Uh, you could definitely adjust it though. Um, so, you know, you can adjust it like depending on the location of where you want the head pad to be. Um, so let's say like about here I guess. So there's that. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the blueprint and then we're going to tell it to go into this anchor. Then, um, of course, you can change the spawn distance in case it's too far or anything like that. So you can go ahead and click on enter and it's going to basically show you the 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 paw, basically. You're going to definitely have to adjust it. So the rotation, I saw it was pointing this way, not the other way. So I would say let's try negative 90 on the paw real quickly for the prop. There you go. And now the location is incorrect, so we can um, change the anchor to be different. So there's that. We can even also have it where the pat, um, you can have the pat speed to be higher, the pat amount can be a lot and such. So we have at least a little bit more time to adjust and fine tune. So there you go. Head pat! Um, so you can do that. You can have it in up and down style like this, or you can have it as left and right, basically. So once that's gone, you can have it set to left and right. Ah. Um, you can also ha uh, make sure if it's too far away, you can set up the pat distance. Uh, and again, spawn distance if you need some adjustments. Otherwise, you can just adjust the anchor, basically. So, yeah. Um, so definitely, like basically mess with these things however you want um this is just you guys observing how i'm just kind of messing with it basically so yeah um so there you go i'm just gonna adjust that value there and there you go nice head pat awa awa now um so basically i'm just going to you know just show you guys here this is my settings I have for the head pad for the default water dough one if you want to copy i don't care just copy it um but pretty much that's for like the 
default paw one. Again, if you have your own hand prop, you're gonna have to change the settings according to that prop and how it's done. But otherwise, there's this. Now, basically what you're gonna do now is we're going to set this up so it can be, let's say, a Twitch redeem or even a YouTube command. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Twitch then, um, and again, I made a tutorial talking about how to make the redeems, uh, but I'll show you anyways. So Twitch, channel point redeems here, uh, redeem. We're going to type in string contains. And then you're going to click and drag the reward title here to A. Then you're going to type in here if branch. Because we have to tell it that if it's true, then it'll trigger. So we're going to name this to be head pat and then connect exit to enter here for the if branch like so and then output boolean here to condition like that and then make sure that if true you get a head pat ah. so yeah so pretty much there's that and of course you can make sure to double check your twitch account make sure that the head pat is set up there and make sure the spelling is correct obviously and once you have that properly set up then um pretty much you should be able to test it on your twitch you know test the channel point and see if it works but this should be the node uh for you know redeeming the channel points for a head pat basically now let's do the equivalent for youtube real quickly so um youtube here uh chat received i'm actually just gonna go ahead and copy these two settings or these two nodes so string contains if branch um same thing we can also have it as well um i can have it set to be like you know the same thing here but i'll just avoid confusion i'll just duplicate it as well but what we're gonna do is that on chat uh youtube chat receive the message will be set to a the message will be uh exclamation mark head pat and then exit to enter if branch so if um the head pat uh command is said on chat then it will of course give me head pat so yeah so of course you could do more stuff with this obviously um but again like you can literally have it where like instead of a head pat it could be like a mop or deem where a random mop will just be cleaning the floor or something like that so yeah you could do silly stuff like that but overall though that's pretty much how you could set up a head pat redeem for Wadido. It's very simple and thanks to Feline for the lovely head pat redeem. Very awesome tool. And yeah, I hope that that helped you out and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.